name is Stacy Schroeder. I'm the president and founder of Evelop LLC, which is a training and consulting firm based in Cleveland, Ohio. I founded Evelop back in 2019 after a career in manufacturing, spanning from engineering roles to director level positions in workforce development. And I'm also a regional director for the Institute for Management Studies, which is a leadership development organization based in Reno, Nevada. So IMS is celebrating its 50th anniversary this year, and we're so proud to support hundreds of organizations across all different industries and bringing them access to world-class thought leaders that focus on the critical areas of business. I'm really glad I found Loomly as a solution. So I was looking to manage three different voices or brands, if you want to think about it like that. So my own personal brand, Evelop LLC and IMS, and share compelling content across multiple platforms on a regular weekly schedule. So Loomly made it simple to set up those three calendars, integrate with the desired social media platforms, pull in RSS feeds for ideas, and use a combination of images and videos that were my own, along with the high quality stock library of assets. So I really appreciate the newsletters with the tips and tricks, honestly. As a small business owner, I wear all the hats. So marketing, sales, IT, operations, finance, business development, customer relationships, and oh, by the way, doing the work. So it's really helpful. I need all the help I can get. And the way the information is presented, it's fun, kind of cheeky, and always really helpful, which I, I really enjoy. Um, the other thing I wanted to mention, I really like the workflow options. So at different points in my business, I've had part-time help with social media marketing. So it was great to be able to adjust the workflow to give autonomy to those individuals, but also give me the comfort of knowing that I had a final review step before anything went live. At the end of the day, the core KPI for both Evelop and IMS is sales. So in terms of social media, I use things like the number of reactions, number of comments, number of reshares and tags, along with overall follower count on each platform that we used. I actually had a change in approach. I think it was back in like July of 2022. And I took over a lot more of the marketing for Evelop um, personally. And my website manager, he's like, we're seeing a lot more traffic. So whatever you're doing, keep doing it. So I've learned that each of those audiences is a little bit different. So for Evelop, I'm focusing on manufacturing companies and manufacturing associations. So I pull more from that type of content and then I throw in my thoughts and experiences based on my time in manufacturing. If I look at IMS, we're targeting business leaders across all industries. So I found that using sources like Harvard Business Review or Forbes or Fast Company, and then tying that to upcoming programs with our thought leaders makes a lot more um, resonance with those folks. And then on the personal side, it's a blend of both. So I do sort of a weekly cadence where Monday and Wednesday, it's usually something around workforce development or manufacturing since that's my passion areas. And then Friday, I always do a Felicitous Friday, which is something that I'm grateful for, kind of paying it forward, sharing resources. So I found that those three approaches seem to be working pretty well over the past couple of years. So for me, the big thing is it gives me control over my schedule and creative process. So I'm a small business owner, I'm a mom to a 15 month old. So my time is really limited and I'm not always available or feeling creative at the ideal times to post on any social media platform. So I'm able to batch my work. So I read articles, I get creative, I use the flow state that I'm able to achieve every week or two if I'm lucky. And I load up a bunch of posts across all the platforms. So I encourage you know people that are considering Luli, think about how to totally switch up the way you think about specific times and days that they build content so that it suits your life and natural rhythms. So since we started using Loomly for Evelop, I've reached over a thousand followers on LinkedIn, which is great considering it's uh, me out of my home office in Cleveland, Ohio. It's a pretty good number. Uh, with IMS, we've reached over 5,000 followers on LinkedIn, which is really cool considering that pre-COVID, we did every single program live and in person. Uh, we weren't big adopters of the internet or technology. So to have it move to 5,000 in just the past couple of years is a big deal. And personally, I've achieved over 4,000 followers on LinkedIn, 
And we've had a number of posts on each of those that's gotten tens of thousands of reactions and many, many comments. So to me, those are the wins. I really like the different views for the calendar and using the RSS feeds. So I've developed my own list of newsletters that I subscribe to, Google Alerts that I set up, and I'll batch all that and create a lot of draft posts as I get time throughout the week. And then I'll spend some dedicated time every week or two and really read those articles, create more um, firm content, try to connect it to upcoming programs or events or to experiences I've had and some personal stories. So I really think just thinking flexibly, just because you're scheduling content on a regular basis doesn't mean you need to do that thought work on any sort of regular basis. Like maybe you wanna go to a coffee shop on Saturday at two o'clock and you know, type away for a couple hours, great. For me, it's, you know, usually a, a Friday during the little guy's nap, you know, and I'll get, get those posts done, get the creative juices flowing. So I just think it really frees your time up so you can do what's best for you and match your flow, which is really, really important. I started experimenting when I opened my business, Evelop, so it was just me. I'm like, okay, how do I make marketing a little bit simpler, a little more streamlined, get some help? And then within the Institute for Management Studies, um, I have a number of peers, but I'm the youngest one, maybe the most tech savvy of the crew. And I've got a pretty good voice in terms of marketing. So they asked me if I would take on some of the corporate marketing responsibility. I was like, okay, sure. But now it's time to do an upgrade and get access to the number of connections that we needed to make. And then I said, now, wait a minute, I can add in my personal brand on here too and schedule those posts as well. So, I mean, we're maxing out, right? We've got 10 different connections across three different calendars and it's awesome because now I can search across all historical posts and see what has resonated with people and maybe kind of reshare and, and rehash some things and make sure that I've got, you know, a good cadence of content across these three brands. So it's, it's been really helpful. I really just think it's been a, a really good experience. I've learned a lot. It's freed up my time. I'm able to schedule my work when I'm feeling creative, which has been a huge benefit for me. It's simple to use. And as you build more and more over time, you've got a bigger and bigger database of past posts and you've built your library of assets. And it's just, I think it's such a, such a win. Like to me, it's a no brainer. So if you've got a brand that you're trying to build awareness, why not use a tool that makes it so simple?